And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> but it's not going to happen again, is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, 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 but not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew! For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Flood! Oh! Oh! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic <laughs> Now, let's think. What's Ladybird for hello? <laughs> hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. We'd better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. Yeah. No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. What a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now. A good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I've a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. 
Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Holly, what have you forgotten? Uh, Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I know. I left it in the med... <laughs> Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Holly! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! Hooray! Mmm, yes. A much better service than the elf truck. Eh? What? Nanny Plum. Could you ask Mrs Chicken to deliver an egg for breakfast tomorrow? Certainly, Your Majesty. Ahem. <laughs> ah, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Poppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But, Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. <laughs> I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good. 
Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. Tiger, tiger, alligator. Crocodile. La la la. Nanny, da, please can I ask you a question about spells, please? A question? Of course. Nanny, a little friend of mine has broken something and wants to mend it. What spell can she use? Do I know this little friend? Uh, no. She's a goblin and she lives far away and you don't know her at all. Is it a special thing this little goblin broke? Yes. And did the little goblin break it on purpose? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. <gasps> oh, I see. You broke it. Oh, Nanny, I didn't mean to break it. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It can't be that bad. It is that bad. Don't be silly. It's not as if you've broken the Queen's teapot. <gasps> what did you break? The Queen's teapot. Oh. Mummy's going to be so sad. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. Ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have... Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh, here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadu, you should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadu, and certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadu, no. At the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadu, zabadu, zee. Hooray! For you. I'm glad that's over. You see, girls, it's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Er, uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm. Maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Hi, Holly. I'm helping my dad today. He's very busy. Thank you, Mr. Elf. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Daddy, are you 
busy. I'm King Thistle. I'm always busy. I have lots of important work to do. You're not working now. I am. I'm practising sitting still, without falling asleep. That's not work. It is King's work. And it's harder than it looks. Oh, what else is King's work? Making speeches, shaking hands and waving a lot. <laughs> that sounds fun. Can I help you work today? Of course, Holly. Oh, goody. Magic car, drive on. Now, the first job for any king is waving. It's a bit boring, but you do it like this. Oh, look! It's the king! Hello! 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 Hello. Hello. It's Princess Holly! Hello! <laughs> this is fun! Yes, a good wave will work wonders wherever you go. Where are we going? Nanny Plum, what's the first bit of work I'm doing today? You're launching an elf boat, Your Majesty. How do you launch a boat? I'll show you. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! This is where I make a speech. <coughs> well done, elves, for building this boat. It uh, looks like a good one. We need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Ugh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Hooray! Very good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello! Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some... Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it. And I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. <laughs> We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining 
and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. <coughs> Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. Well done, Ben. You see? I told you no one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No, you've already messed Annie Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... Woo! That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! 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 Nanny, are you OK? Uh, yes. At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben? I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! 
Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep! All aboard! First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone! <laughs> Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. It made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh. We don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep, deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard. We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop. See? She's not frightening at all. Just a bit smelly. What's that? Don't touch anything, children. Why can't we touch? Because it's dirty. What's that? Don't worry, dear. I just wanted to show the children how a real witch lives. Oh, I see. Would you like some rat milk and worm cakes? Uh, no thank you, Mrs Witch. We've already eaten. Mrs Witch, can we ask you some questions about being a witch? Of course. Anything you like. Are you any good at magic? Well, I don't like to use magic these days because... I told you! Witches are no good at magic and they never use it anyway. What's that? Mrs Witch, if we don't do magic these days... Then what do you do? I'm retired. So, you don't chase elves or fairies anymore, then? Oh, no. I just... Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? Or make these seats more comfortable. Stop it, Nanny! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Ah, da da la la, da dum dee da. What was that? Is she laughing? Um, sort of. Oh, splendid. Let's go and join in the fun. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Happy Elf Joke Day. That was not funny, wise old elf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Nanny Plum. 
May I say how lovely you are looking today? What? Is this another silly joke? <laughs> no. Oh, you are so pretty. May I take your photograph? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, you are most kind. Say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all, Mr Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> Naughty, Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Don't worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But Nanny! Magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, as long as there's no magic going on. I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> No, wise old elf, not me. Uh, uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. So he wants a bucket of custard? And a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Gnome. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <coughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look. Pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. 
Ooh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, do you want us to teach you how to play crazy golf? It's fun. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la. Da, dum -de da Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells! The bells! Now I need to adjust the clock. It's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. And the beautiful princess lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Holly. But, Daddy, the owl hasn't hooted yet. There's the owl now. And the fierce dragon ate the witch. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Time to sleep, Ben. But, Mum, the clock hasn't chimed yet. Lunch time! Oh, I'm afraid insects are not allowed inside the castle. It's all right, Nanny Plum. Daddy's invited Gaston to stay with us. Oh, very well then. Make yourself at home, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston, Gaston, ladybird. I hope he's going to learn to wipe his feet. Gaston isn't well, Nanny. <laughs> and he hasn't got anywhere to stay. I'm still not sure it's a good idea for him to stay with us. Don't worry, darling. Gaston will be no trouble at all. So, where is he going to sit? He can sit on this little chair. <coughs> Nanny Plum, you can speak, Ladybird. <coughs> What's he saying? Gaston says this chair is too little. <gasps> no! That's the Queen's chair. <laughs> Don't fuss, Nanny Plum. The Queen doesn't mind, do you, darling? <coughs> Gaston says this chair is too hard. <clears throat> Actually, Gaston, that's my chair. <coughs> Gaston says this chair is just right. Goodness, it's like having Goldilocks to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Daddy. You can sit on this little chair. Yummy! Thanks, Nanny. Yes, this food is delicious. I suppose I'd better magic up some special ladybird food. By a ladybird's growl, food smelly and foul. Look, smelly welly. <laughs> Gaston loves smelly food. <laughs> There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Help! Help! Goodness me! Nanny! Make the magic stop! Go! 
Thunder and lightning, north winds blow. Magic spell, away you go. <laughs> Thank you, Nanny. You stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh. Oof! What happened to the magic? Ahem. There was a little problem in the kitchen and I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle for one day, Your Majesties. Sorry. Oh. And the weather in the little kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh. If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. But there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. Benny Plum, do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. Oh. oh. Perhaps we should ask King Thistle. He knows how the world works. Yes. Let's go and ask Daddy. <laughs> Enter. Daddy, Daddy, can we ask you a question? Yes, of course, Holly. What is it? Can you tell us where the stars go in the daytime? <laughs> what? Where do the stars go when the sun comes up? Well, they go. Yes, they go. <laughs> I'm actually rather busy at the moment, Holly. Our storybook said the stars went away. But it didn't say where they went. Oh, I see. Well... There are plenty of books in the Royal Library. One of them might have the answer. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Come on, everyone. Wow! It's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C, neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Ooh, look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says... Stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, ziggity, ziggity, stop! 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 For you, that's better. Oh! Ah! Oi! Where's our ice cream? Ah! Oh, goodness me! I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. <laughs> it's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away, 
Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop. Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Cream. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly. I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> In that case... Follow me. She's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings. <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow. wow! There it is. It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny! What happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny! 
Danny Pelop. Is this ghastly weather? Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> The Elf Band at your service, Your Majesty. Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa, 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 oompa. Interesting. That was awful. <laughs> I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> Charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. <laughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool! Yeehaw! Giddy up! Giddy up! Must be where the Queen Ant lives. Ooh. Oh, is that the Queen? Uh, yes. She's um big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your Ant Ness. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr. Elf. I'm Mrs. Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. Uh, and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> but they buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves! <laughs> dig ho! Dig, dig ho! Dig, dig, dig! Dig, dig, ho, dig, dig. Oh, what's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Ugh. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, Gaston. We think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <coughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. <coughs> it's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little... Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn. And I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Morning time! <laughs> Good morning, Frog Spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. Morning time! <laughs> <laughs> What did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said, bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means bah. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <coughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> It's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a, a cow. cow. <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. It's okay, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. Wow. 
And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? Hey? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby Dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby dolly! Baby dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <laughs> this is heavy. All together, push. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. Right-o. She's on her way. Thank 